The coronavirus suddenly has millions of people working from home. For many, it's a brand new experience that takes some adjusting. CBS's Nancy Chen has some tips from those who've done it. Like many Americans, Javier and Sabrina Mercedes are working from home. Do you want sweet potatoes? Oh, yeah. While also taking care of uh, two kids. <laughs> but this is not a new experience. Yeah. They've been doing it for about two years. So the train? Sabrina works in the healthcare technology industry. What is up, Mercedes and Javier Mercedes here for yet again another Passion in Progress show. Javier is a YouTube creator. Look at that energy. Yeah, man. Producing podcasts and video editing tutorials. You, you could make this process even faster. The couple takes turns with the kids, allowing each other time to focus on work. They also bought professional desks and chairs. One of the detriments of today, yeah, today's standard of working from home is that you're always available. I don't want it. And we have kids, so we're forced to break it up. You know, before we had kids, we both were very capable of working 16 hour days straight. One benefit of working from home is the flexibility to create your own schedule. But experts say it is important to step away from work. Keeping a routine as much as you can is, is really great. Mercy Livingston is a wellness journalist who works from home. I would say wake up, shower, do your routine as you would if you're going into the office. Livingston says it's also important to set work hours, take breaks, and get some exercise. I've actually used my living room as a gym for the past few years, and I feel much more focused, productive, positive for, for the rest of the day. Uh, you got it. Javier and Sabrina agree exercise and breaks are important. The biggest thing for me was taking walks outside. They also enjoy other perks of working from home. Are you going to help me? Like no longer having to commute. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.